into a new world of gods and monsters. It's alive! Here's Johnny. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, I'm telling you, brother, it's a frightful sight. See what goes on Halloween night. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Why We Love Horror Trivia. We are chugging along. Melissa, you did a great job. I just want you to know, Melissa was nervous she wasn't going to do that right. I think she did it right. I don't know. You Forget in the comments if she did it wrong, but I think she did it right. Anyway, I am here with my multi-talented co-host. I, I, I always say that, but I only mean it this time. Melissa Woody. Melissa, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling all right. And yeah, it, it didn't go perfect, but that's okay. It got cut off a little bit at the beginning, but we're here. It's fine. You'd Mike does that every intro, week. It's fine. So it's yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> we have a excellent match for this evening. You know, two of our great friends, two people we talk to every day. Uh, the MVP of the free for all, Luis Boos, going up against the man who I mean, I wish I wish he had more confidence in himself. Everybody loves him, but he doesn't seem to love himself. Anthony Tisdall, they're here today. We're gonna bring in Anthony first. We're gonna we're gonna pep Anthony up. Bring him in, Anthony. Come on, I want to hear you say I'm gonna win this match. I'm not going to win this match, uh, but <laughs> I am going to be here. I am going to steal Luis's thunder because you know I'm going with the shirt. I'm buttoned. I, you know, I got my drink in hand. I'm ready to. Um, I'm just excited to get to play Luis in something that is like not just in horror trivia. He's good at it. He's the MVP. I got to be. You, but you chose Nick Cage, and we know your your love for the man. So I that's got to boost your confidence a little bit. I've spent a lot of my life watching every single movie he made, and I regret <laughs> some of them. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not not these movies we're going to talk about today. But with that being said, we're going to bring in your opponent from across the pond and a little more. Luis Boost. Yo. Luis, the MVP. How you doing, man? Oh, man. MVP, that sounds kind of rough, you know? I don't feel like the MVP. You know how, what I mean? How do, you say, how do you say most valuable player in Germany? Oh, jeez. I don't really think there's a You're word that. for it. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, MVP, that's kind of a lot. Um, I kind of went into the free fall at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and it was like, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to be out after one round. And then I wasn't and stood there until the end. So I don't know. And now I'm in this match, and I'm kind of afraid because I feel like I have this chip on my shoulder to prove that that MVP yeah. thing wasn't like a fluke. But this match is also <laughs> kind of different than the free fall. So I don't know how it's going to go. But um, also, Anthony, cease and desist is in the mail. Uh, fuck you for stealing my gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> and you picked the Scream franchise, which is very popular in this league. Uh, so how do yeah. you feel about that? Uh, I, I feel kind of good about it. You know, I've seen all of them multiple times, except the newest one. So I think I'm going to do OK. All right. At least. With that. Let's bring Anthony back. Let's talk about what happens in round one. Round one is our speed round that I ripped off from another league I run, Trivia League Unlimited. Uh, you're going to get eight questions, sort of fast. I'll say a question. Or, Melissa, if you want to say the first question, whatever, we can switch it up. One of us will ask you a question. Ten seconds will pass. The other person will ask the second question. We're going to bounce back and forth till we've asked eight questions. Number your boards one through eight. You're going to put all your answers on the board. After ten seconds, after the last question is read, We'll go over both your boards. I'll tell you what the score is. I'll go over the right answers. You do get three repeats and a challenge throughout the entirety of the match. If you use a repeat in round one, we can give you 20 extra seconds at the end and repeat a question if you'd like. You guys have any questions before we start? Nah. Uh, I right. will continue this until the letter actually arrives in the mail. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, do you want to read the first one or do you want me to read the first one? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. okay. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sure. Why okay. Not? Question number one in the category of 1990s. How many Leprechaun movies were released in the 1990s? And this is including direct to video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Jesus. Did you watch those direct to video ones? I hope you did. They're entertaining in their own way. But your second question comes in the category of the 2010s. Who plays the titular character in The House That Jack Built? Another movie you should watch. If you no. Have. Question number three in the category of horror comedies. Seven years after Shaun of the Dead, a similar movie was released, but it's set in Cuba. What is that movie called? Another movie you should watch. Agreed. <laughs> this one I agree with. 
That one was surprisingly great. The fourth question. In movie release dates, what year saw the release of the original Cabin Fever? Question number uh, five. In teen horror, what type of location hosts the opening scene and the final standoff between the teens and the killers in the Fear Street trilogy? When does it start? Where is it at? <laughs> in directors, who directed Cube and Splice? Among other films. Next question, number seven, in the category of Guillermo del Toro. Where is Carter Cushing when he is murdered in Crimson Peak? Huh. A couple different answers. We'll for that one. Your eighth question in non-U.S. horror. What sport does Tinja participate in in hatching? And your chance to use a repeat's and expire in five, four, three, two, okay. one. Hands down, guys. We're going to go over your answers first. Uh, Anthony, let's see what you got first. Um, I guess three, Matt Dillon, one of the dead, 2002, a mall, some Canadian, uh, a bathroom, and baseball. And Luis. All right. I also said three, Matt Dillon, one of the dead, 2002, mall, Vincenzo Natali uh, didn't have the GDT one, and then soccer. I have it five to five. That is exactly what I have. Oh, Let's nice. go over these answers. Oh, wow. Uh, there were four Leprechaun videos. You guys probably forgot Leprechaun in Space. That, that one came out. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't forget it. I just <laughs> thought it was there. There's Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2, Leprechaun in Vegas, Leprechaun in Space. Um, who plays Jack? Matt Dillon. You both got that one. One of the Dead. Fantastic movie. Check it out if you haven't. Cabin Fever came out in 2002. Uh, the fi that. first and ending scenes of the Fear Street trilogy take place in the mall. Uh, Vincenzo Natale directed Cuban's place. Um, uh, Carter Cushing is killed in a bathroom or locker room or country club. And uh, gymnastics she participates in in hatching. I do have five to five. So with that being said, since Louis, since you are, you are still the MVP, uh, would you like your questions in Scream first, or would you like Anthony to answer his questions in Nicolas Cage first? Uh, let me do Scream. You're going to do Let's Scream go. first? Yeah. All right, guys, this is our round two works. You guys both picked categories you feel confident in. You're going to get four multiple choice questions for two points apiece. You can check down the multiple. You can check down the multiple choice for one point apiece, and steals are available if you miss. With that being said, Melissa, do you want to read Nick Cage or you want to read Scream? I mean, I love both, so if you have a preference. Uh, <laughs> I don't have preference, but you know, since you're 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 killing it today, you can. I'll let you pick. Go ahead. I'll just go first to get it over with. <laughs> All right, you're gonna scream. All right. Read Louise's scream. <laughs> okay, you ready, Louise? Yeah. Okay. Question number one: What other cast member is in the office when Sarah arrives for her script read it with Roman in Scream Three? Uh, I think I need a repeat. Uh, no, not a repeat, a multiple choice. Sorry. Multiple choice? Okay. Yeah. Multiple choice. A, Tyson. B, Jennifer. C, Angela. Uh, sorry, Angelina. Or D, Tom. Is it Tyson? That is correct. He's got scissors in his head. Because he's doing <laughs> prop work. Okay. Question number two. At the party, after the keg kicks, Frankie tells Tara he has a bottle of what type of alcohol in his room in Scream 6? Ah, oh, shit. This is the one that I've only seen once. Yeah, uh, give me multiple as well. Okay. Multiple choice. A, Jägermeister. B, Jose Cuervo. C, Fireball. Or D, Parrot, Parrot Bay. Fireball. That is correct. That's what the kids drink. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. 
when she is attacked at the hospital, what does Tara accidentally hit Richie with when he enters the room and she, she is hiding in, in Scream 2022? Or Scream 5? Five. Uh, multiple. Multiple choice. A, an IV pole. B, a phone. C, her chart. Or D, a bedpan. IV pole. That is incorrect. Anthony, for the steal, I'll give you the options again. A, an IV pole. B, a phone. C, her chart. Or D, a bedpan. Um. Gonna go bedpan. That is also incorrect. Well, the answer was phone. Ah, okay. She's calling for help. He walks in, she throws it at him. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bedpan's funny. And your last question in Scream. When Randy and Stu are discussing whether Billy is the killer in the video store in Scream, Randy references what horror movie when he mentions the cops haven't watched enough horror movies. Yo, those are deep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> multiple. multiple choice. A, The Prowler, B, Prom Night, C, Sleepaway Camp, or D, Black Christmas? Uh, can you give me these options again? Yeah. Uh, A, A, The Prowler, B, Prom Night, C, Sleepaway Camp, or D, Black Christmas? Prom night? That is correct. I, I assure you, Anthony's are equally deep. I'm <laughs> real scared. There's, I'm not going to get more <laughs> right. I don't think. So I have eight to five after that, yeah, Raph, that or after the, Yeah, okay. Cool. Anthony, your question's in. Nick Cage horror movies. Uh, I'm ready? really scared right now. Let's go. Your, your first question. <laughs> what is Brent building in his basement in Mom and Dad? Oh, um, a pool table. That's correct. Your second question. What is the name of Lavinia's horse in Color Out of Space? I, I don't even remember there was a horse in being in that movie. Okay, we'll go multiple choice. Is it A, Comet, B, Cupid, C, Prancer, or D, Vixen? Seriously? Really? <laughs> That's what we're going with? It's one of those. Um, yeah, I bet it is. Oh. Um, is it Cupid? That is incorrect. Chance for a one-point steal. Luis, is it Comet, A, Comet, B, Cupid, C, Prancer, or D, Vixen? Is it Vixen? No, it's Comet, and she's, no, she, the, the first time we see her, she has the horse when she's uh, when she meets yeah. when she's doing the, the, the ritual. Your third question: What is the name of the biker gang that is affiliated with the Children of the New Dawn in Mandy? Oh well, we'll just go multiple choice because I had Children of the New Dawn in my head, and you said that, so multiple. <laughs> A, the Hell Riders. B, the Death Demons. C, the Black Skulls. Or D, the Purge Raiders. I've been missing so long. A sounds familiar. A. A is incorrect. Yeah. Louise chance for a one point steal. A, the Hell Riders. B, the Death Demons. C, the Black Skulls. Or D, the Purge Raiders. D. That is also incorrect. They are the Black Skulls. The Black Skulls. Sure. Yeah, same. And your fourth and final question in Nick Cage In which trailer in Grindhouse does Nick Cage make an appearance? Oh, my God. Um, which trailer in Find Out? Five, confusing. Four, three, two. Repeat. In which trailer in Grindhouse does Nick Cage make an appearance? There's two movies in it. Trailer, like. I'll go multiple. I don't know if you need like the name of the movie that the trailer's about or like which one. Yeah, yeah which multiple. movie? So uh, is it A, Machete, B, Don't, 
C, werewolf women of the SS, or D, Thanksgiving? Okay, well, shit. Uh, C? That is correct. We got okay. a titanium. Um, I would have got it, but a multiple. Like, all right, that sounds familiar. Yeah, werewolf woman <laughs> of the SS is correct. So we're again. Dr. We are. Too. I think I knew his name. <laughs> he, was definitely, he was definitely that character. Okay. Uh, so here's how round three works. Uh, it is the movie synopsis round. You're going to get three questions worth two, three, and five points. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to spin the wheel three times. You do get one respin throughout those three spins. If you don't like the category, you get Luis since you are tied, but you are the MVP. <sighs> You can choose to spin first or let Anthony spin first. Uh, I'll let Anthony go first this time. Okay. Uh, we can bring in that oh, wheel then. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome, yes. bro. <laughs> You're the, the sweetest. All right. So the categories we got on the wheel nah, today, <laughs> we got 1990s, we got 2010s, 2020s, we got horror comedies, we got slashers, and we got found footage films. All right. So, Anthony, we're going to spin. If you don't like, we're gonna spin for two and then three and five for you. If you don't like it, you tell me and we will spin it again. Yeah, Your two point maybe. synopsis is gonna come in. And do you only get one spin away? Sorry. Only, only one spin away. Your okay. two point is in horror comedies. You like that? I do. Let's keep that. All right. Your three pointer. Oh, we're doing them all. This is fun. Yep. <laughs> it's way easier. Your three pointer is gonna be in slashers. Do you wanna keep that? Uh, I'm probably going to need to maybe hold off on the five. So, yeah, I'll keep it. Why not? All right. And your five-pointer is going to be in. The 1990s. You want to keep that or spin again? Yeah, I'll keep it. All right. You picked this, bro. Huh? You picked this one. Well, yeah, but it's so <laughs> scary for a five. All right, Luis. Yeah, this doesn't mean anything. All right, I was doing it quickly and I didn't really know what was happening. Luis, your two pointer is going to come in. Splashers, do you want to keep that? Yeah. Your three pointer is going to be in. Horror comedy, do you want to keep that? Yeah, sure. Why and not? your five pointer will be in. The 2010s, 2020s. Do you want to keep that? Yeah, sounds good. I was about to say, you picked that, bro. Yeah, I picked that one yeah. for a reason. <laughs> All right. Well, well, watch me well, shit the bed. <laughs> Luis, I'll, Luis, I'll ask you again. You, it's still tied. Do you want to have your questions asked first or second? Nah, I'll let Anthony go first. Yeah. All right. Since I asked Anthony those Nicolas Cage questions, most you can ask Anthony is two pointer in horror comedies. Horror comedies. Okay. Anthony, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so plot synopsis. Three people attempt to stop a gi gigantic crocodile who is terrorizing residents in Black Lake, Maine. Name the movie. Lake Placid? That is correct. Love that movie. All right, Luis, your two-pointer in slashers. Yo. A decades-old folktale surrounding a deranged killer miner turns out to be true to legend when a group defies the killer's order and people start turning up dead. My Bloody Valentine. That is correct for either version of that movie. He didn't say 3D, so... Well, it was, it was the original. I, I know. <laughs> Great band okay. as well. So back to Anthony. For his three-pointer and slashers. Okay. okay. So your three-pointer and slashers. In a small town in Virginia, a psychotic murderer is killing off the virgins of the local high school. So every slasher ever. Got it. <laughs> It's the opposite. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> God, you have to spun away on this one. <laughs> what? Uh, five, four. I'll take three. a repeat. All right, just okay. a repeat. All right, again. In a small town in Virginia, a psychotic murderer is killing off the virgins of the local high school. Five, mm. four, three. I don't know. Two. Valentine. I don't know. So unfortunately, that was incorrect. The answer is Cherry Falls. I've been trying to find that movie, and I cannot find it streaming anywhere. I'll get you a copy of it, Anthony. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Luis, we're going to go to your three-pointer in horror comedies. A seemingly friendly farmer and his sister kidnap unsuspecting travelers and bury them alive, using them to create the special meat they are famous for. Five. Four. This isn't Delicatessen, right? No, it is not. It is the oh. 80s classic Motel Hell. Motel Hell. Okay. Yo, those are the threes. We're fucked on the five. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to Anthony for his 1990s five points. He might, I don't know, he might be fucked. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready for your five pointer in 1990s? I thought I was, but we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, three students get caught in the struggle between a good vampire and his evil brother in the Transylvania Mountains. <laughs> oh my god. Good vampire's evil brother. When the hell did that happen in the 90s? Uh, I'll use my last repeat, I guess. Yeah. Okay. 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 Your last repeat. Um, three students get caught in the struggle between a good vampire and his evil brother in the Transylvania Mountains. <laughs> I assure you it is a movie. Oh, I believe it, but it's one of your movies, so that means it's so far down the list of things. I don't know. Five, four, three. Transylvania 6 5000. <laughs> the answer was subspecies. Subspecies. Sure. I've never heard of it either. <laughs> what the hell? Luis, you have to answer your five pointer to win the game, otherwise, we will go to sudden death. I honestly wish you luck here, because right. if you even heard of the movie he's about to pick. Your five pointer in 2010s, 2020s. A young woman's desperate search for her twin sister brings her to a ghost filled stretch of wilderness where numerous people have been known to take their own lives. The forest. David. And your winner, nice. Luis Boos. It is The Forest, yes. Uh, fuck said, this movie. This movie <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. Hey, it's a five pointer. It's a five pointer. They can't be popular. All right, that being said, we're going to drop Luis back for a second, talk to Anthony. Well, Anthony, hey, your prediction was true. Uh, I knew I didn't it. Win. Told you. I, I I really was pulling for you because just, just stop to trying to give me hope. Like it's not going to happen. I'd love to see it one day. I've seen I've seen you win matches, so it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, that being said, you did good. You pushed it to the very last question, uh, so that's good. You kept it tied throughout. Just happened to the fact that Luis happened to watch the shitty movie I was talking about. Uh -huh. How do you feel? Oh, it's fine. Um, I was five in round one's good. I'm good with that. Nicholas Cage, as soon as I heard his question, I'm like, oh, he's going to be real deep and I'm fucked. Um, so do that. And then, you know, so I've never heard of the two movies that um, were the three and the five. I, that's just how it is. Uh, I heard the four. Well, you said you heard, you've heard of Cherry Falls. You just haven't watched Oh, it. yeah, I've heard of Cherry Falls, but it's one of those. Like, I've seen it on like random posts and I'm like, oh, well, this seems fun. Or not fun, but something I want to watch and can't find it. Uh, and I've never heard of some CC. You give me your email, I'll get you a copy. We're gonna get you a copy then. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's Luis. Like Luis is awesome. Uh, I I stole like I guess I'll have to button up my shirt now because he won. So the yeah, season the yeah, 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 He has the right now. He has the right. He has the right. And he's he's a lot smoother than I am. So it's probably a better look for him than me. Uh, this was a mistake. <laughs> But yeah, good for Luis. He's the MVP for a reason. I, I took him far. I like this. This is fun league, and uh, I, get, I get to play him. That's that's the best. I love I love the fun DMC hangouts. This is yeah, what I like. we will have you back. You know, eventually yeah. we're gonna go through the cycle. Is there anybody in the in the league that you know plays in the league you're looking to face? Oh, I I, I don't know. Just throw throw me up against someone fun. Throw me up against someone that I can I can do this with again. And is it gonna take it too seriously? That's most of the people. So we'll make sure it happens. All right. I will. I'll, I'm gonna take that into consideration. Love it. We're going to drop you backstage, bring in today's winner. Hey. The MVP. <laughs> Luis Luis. So you've won, you won the match. You won the right to be on camera with your shirt half off. Yeah. What, a great, what a great early morning for you. I, it's very early morning. I don't even count it as the morning. Let me go to sleep, then it's morning. Now it's night, whatever. Um, this is cool. I've never won something, or at least not as often as I would like to. So this is cool. This is nice. I'm kind of sad that I had to beat Anthony. Also, it's kind of cool. You know, I haven't hung out with him for a while. He doesn't mind losing. I don't mind winning. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck cares? Uh, 
the forest fucking sucks. Let me reiterate again. This was one night when I hung out with my buddies and we we're awake till 6 a.m. And at some point someone threw on the forest. Why? Why did I have to watch this movie? But it served me good. It paid case. off today. It yeah. did. With so, that being uh, said, normally we ask who you want to face next, but we know who you're facing next by virtue of being the MVP and winning this match. So you're on a roll. You will get a title shot against Jeremy, big business Jeremy Potters, in a few weeks. How are you feeling about that? Oh, I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> Holy shit. When, <laughs> when, when I hear shit like that, I'm fucking shitting my pants. What the fuck are you talking about, man? You know, it's not like this was some uh, clear-cut win, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this was like the skin of my teeth. I was lucky that I had seen this fucking movie. <laughs> and now I have to face Jeremy like, oh, shit. Well, a true, te a true test. Hope you, know, you, you can pick a strength, study it, come in hot, and do, do, do your worst. That's what I feel. Yeah, that sounds cool, man. Let's do it. Well, Jeez. Luis, you know, again, I know you're in fun DMC like the rest of us, and we tend not to take any confidence in ourselves, so I, I appreciate you stick with that gimmick. But you did well, and we expect you to do well next time, so we'll see you when you come back. <laughs> Melissa, final words. Um, yeah, I successfully produced this episode. It was a little scary. <laughs> uh, but, no, this is great. Luis and Anthony are you know, obviously I'm fun DMC and they're fun and fantastic. So it was a great match. I was happy whoever whoever won. I, I agree 100%. Until next time, listen, if you made it this far, like, subscribe. If you know anybody, if you have any people that you think are weird, they like horror, you think they're weird, or they're just cool like me and they like horror, you should tell them this channel exists that they can come like and subscribe so we can grow this and then eventually get a TV deal and you can watch us on TV someday. Who knows? That being said, in the meantime, buy our shit, support the stuff. For myself, John Marr, for Melissa Woody, for Anthony Tisdall, and Luis Boos, this has been Why We Love Horror Trivia. And we'll see you next week. Why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. Be sure to bring your death certificate.